Morning everyone, I hope you all had a lovely Yomtov season. I'm out for a walk on the Heath Extension, it's a beautiful day, I went up to the top there. I wanted to give a, a brief reflection on uh, some words which the chief rabbi said in shul on, uh, on Shabbat Shemini at Tzeret. Uh, so he spoke and he gave a, a, he spoke about how we need to be proactive in tackling our own problems and lo ain't some chimalanes is a famous Talmudic uh, saying. You should not rely on a miracle. You should try and solve a problem for yourself. We still pray and we hope that Hashem will help us. And partly we pray that Hashem will help us to help ourselves. So he gave a particularly beautiful explanation of a pasuk that we say in Tefillah every morning. And the uh, chief rabbi reflected that he's been thinking about this a lot. And I think he said it's uh, Rav Valdorf had this. The pasuk says, Rabot machshavot belevish vatzat Hashem hi takum. Which means there are many thoughts in the hearts of people, but it is the Eitzat Hashem, the plan of God or the advice of God, which will be realised. But he, Rav Aldorf puts the, and it's quite a Hasidish thing, puts the comma in the Pasuk in a different place. He says, Rabot, Rabot Machshavot Belevish, Vatzat Hashem He, Takum. He said, There are many thoughts in the hearts of man, and the plan of God is, comma, Takum. You should get up and solve your problem. So, not rather than God's plan will be realised, it's no. God says to man, God says to people, you should get up and solve your problem, takum. That's an incredible idea, and a very Jewish idea, of course. We don't really believe in relying entirely on God. We do believe in educating our children, in building our communities, and uh, in general, taking an active role in the world. And I wanted to add to that a point about Mashiv Haroch Omer Gashem, which is a prayer that we started saying on Shemini Atzeret, which has a beautiful song. We were led by Rabbi Gutentag, who sang it with a traditional beautiful melody at the Alfresco Minion on Shemini Atzeret. Mashiv Haroch Omer Gashem. We ask Hashem to make the wind blow which is close to my heart. For those of you who know, I'm a wind farmer. Umurid HaGashem, and will bring down the rain. We ask Hashem to bring the right seasonal weather that we need. Now, uh, that's a very um, nice prayer, and it's a seasonal prayer, because in the winter, for agriculture, we need the rain. In the summer, we need more sunshine. But I wanted to reflect on the fact, to combine this with... Uh, Chief Rabbi said it about takum, takum, that you need to solve your own problems. And I want to bring it back again to the subject which I spoke about in my video Days of War a few weeks ago about climate change. So it's, uh, it's important that we ask God for rain, but it's also important that we understand that in these times, in these days, we are ourselves changing the weather. We're changing extreme weather events. You could look at wildfires that we've seen in Australia and California on a scale not previously experienced. You can look at flooding in many parts of the world, including flooding that we had in the UK uh, in 20 years, that washed away railways and caused people to have to leave their homes in many parts of the country. And this is set as uh, climate change intensifies with the warming climate if we don't tackle climate change to cause more and more problems for humans. So I think that in combination with asking Hashem for the right seasonal weather, we really have to look at ourselves. We have to look at ourselves and think, how are we going to bring favourable weather to ourselves? And the answer is, of course, that we need to tackle climate change. We need to stop our carbon emissions. We need to get to net zero. And that's how we will make sure that we have the rain at the right time, in the right quantities, and that uh, we will have blessings that Hashem can continue to bring to us. 
wishing you all, as they say, you're getting winter or whatever, something like that, a good winter. And uh, look forward to carrying on the climate conversation with you over the coming months. Bye.